Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So the forms for UPSC Geoscientist exam are live now and they are online. Now you can fill the form for this particular exam if you are willing to give this exam. In case if you are not aware about it that what this UPSC Geoscientist exam is. So I have made a detailed video on it. You can watch it from the i button. You can click on the i button and watch that video. Uh, here I will be telling you that how you can fill the form starting from the registration to uh, the fee, uh, fees payment. So that when you are filling the form, you don't make any mistake while doing that. All right. So having said that, this is the official page of UPSC. Now you can see over here. Uh, this, if you click on this, you will be getting the notification. You will be able to download the notification. We'll no, not do that. And uh, you have uh, the exam. Like you can fill this particular form till twenty fourth of September. Uh, 6 p.m. So that is the time till which you can fill this form. I'll take you directly to the page where you can log in and you can apply for it. Okay. So I'll take you directly over here. I'll give you link to reach out to this particular page in the description of this video. This is upsconline.nic.in. This is the website where you can actually do that. So before applying for it, there is a way of applying it if in case if you have never filled any form of UPSC, in that case, this is something which you have to do. This is called OTR or one time registration. Now, this is one of the very convenient method which UPSC has introduced for applicants who are filling different exams of UPSC. So UPSC, you know, it conducts various different exams. It conducts exam for civil services, it conducts exam for uh, NDA, CDS, so all different exams are there which UPSC conducts. One of them is uh, UPSC Geoscientist. Okay, so in case if you are someone new or who has never registered for it, in that case you have to do one-time registration or OTR. Okay, now this over here it summarizes it. So what is one-time registration benefits? First thing is that you do not need to fill personal detail again and again for every form. Uh, applicant needs to upload document if required. So you don't have to upload documents again and again if you do one-time registration once. And OTR information is digitally available anytime, anywhere. So once you have done one-time registration, you just have to select a particular exam and you will be able to fill the form. You don't have to go through the hustle of filling everything again. Okay. And OTR information get automatically populated while applying under any commission notification means any exam if you do, if you are doing. So I will show you both the methods. Uh, with OTR and without OTR both how you can do that or if you have already uh, done one time registration how to do that and if you have never done one time registration then how to do that okay. So I will go with the method first where I will tell you how to do one time registration okay. So how do you all like how you have to apply so basically you have to click on one time registration or new registration so that is what I am going to show you I am going to show you that how you can do for the first time okay. So this is for this particular I will give you the time frame in the uh, like the time frame will be there uh, for this particular video. You can go to a particular time if you want to watch. So right now I'm just telling you that if you are someone who has never filled UPSC form, how you can do from scratch from the first time. Okay. So you have to click on this new registration and then it will take you to a page where you have to provide your basic information. Now over here, basic information means your name as per your class 10th. You have to verify your name. That means you have to again put your name then have you ever changed your name that is what they will ask that sometimes people change their name. So if you have done that you have to fill that then what is the gender you have to verify the gender again your date of birth you have to verify date of birth. So basically they are asking every detail twice because they do not want you to make any mistake while filling the form your father's name verify your father's name mother's name verify the my, uh, mother's name then minority status that means if you belong to any minority religion in the country. So if you say yes, then they will ask you that under which category you belong to or if you uh, does not belong to any minority status, then say no. Then your mobile number, this is very important. Make sure that you put a mobile number which you are not changing in future because one time registration will register your details along with your email address and mobile number. So these two things should be your personal and private. Okay, do not use any others mobile number or any others email address. So apply your mobile number. You can also give alternate mobile number, email address, alternate email address, class 10th board examination roll number. Okay. So you have to give the roll number for your class 10th exam. Then you have to select two uh, security questions. Now these two security questions are given so that in case let us say in for, uh, future you forget your password or you forget uh, your uh, 
like how to log in through one time registration in that case these security questions are going to help you out okay so there are two security questions which they will ask and then the captcha code over here okay so i will just add because i have done one time registration earlier uh, with some of my details so i will add that part of my video over here so that you get to know that how to go ahead with the next steps okay so next part of the video will include how to do this one time registration and how you can fill the form using that particular part so i'm done with all the details now i will just submit over here and once i will submit uh, my personal detail is again going to show me whatever i have filled is shown over here and now it says if you wish to update or change any information just check all the information and if you want to make any change just uh, click over here to cha make changes otherwise you click on i agree make sure that your name is as per your 10th mark sheet your fa father's name is as per your 10th mark sheet your mother's name is as per your documents okay so all the things should be as per your documents don't make spelling mistakes and all those things okay so i am like i am happy with it so i'll just press i agree on this and then i will be taken to uh, like uh, the otp or the verification page now here i have to verify both the things i have to verify my mobile as well as i have to verify my uh, like email address so i have got an otp on my mobile phone i will just fill that otp and similarly I have got an OTP on my email address, the email address which I have given. I have got an uh, OTP over there as well. So I will just fill that OTP again. Once I have filled both the things, I will just uh, verify the OTP and then it will just say that yes, uh, one time registration is successfully submitted. So all my details are now successfully saved over here. Uh, what I have to do now is I can either take a print of it, I will suggest you please take a print if you click over here you will be able to take the print of it and just keep it or just save this okay just save it with you okay so just save this as a pdf all right now what i have to do is i have to again log in okay all right so once you have done one time registration once you have given the basic information you have to again get back to the login page you can get back through this login button by clicking here or you can again click on the link which i have provided in the description of this video so now you can log in using three methods you have either you can log in using your email address you can either log either log in using your mobile number or using your otr id uh, otr id might have been generated once you have completed the one time registration okay so you can click on uh, any one of them whichever feels good for you and then click on get otp so once you will get the otp you have to click or you have to fill the verification code otp will be provided if you select email address and if you fill your email otp will be sent on your email address if you click mobile number give your mobile number otp will be sent on your mobile number okay so make sure that you have given correct information and once you do that you can click on login to login and then i will show you what you are going to see in the next step okay so let me quickly do that for you all right so once you log in here is your portal in front of you you have uh, to fill all this information okay you have to uh, like it says that add information to the otr profile these are the information which you have to add now so see there is a cross over here because i have not given this information for any one of the time so that's why i have to uh, like give these informations this time i have to provide my personal information address information photo and sign document upload educational information parental information employment information ups exam information achievement and prizes and that's how my whole profile will be done and all my information will be saved on upsc website okay uh, it says that recent activity it does not shows you any exam because i have not completed any of the form over here uh, over here if you see there are other options like dashboard latest daf latest notification application status application history otr profile so these are the things which are provided if you click on this latest notification uh, you should be able to see that which exams are active so you can see that combined geoscientist exam is active as of now and uh, the notice date is 4th of september 2024 last date is 24th of september 2024 till 6 pm so yeah so let's go ahead let's fill this information one by one so first i will click on this personal information tab and here you can see i have my otr profile over here and the other otr profile registration uh, of personal information which is asked over here so the things which is asked is first of all my national nationality is asked then my mother tongue is asked marital status place of birth community whether i belong to pwd ca candidate or not photo identity what identity i am using uh, then whether i have been uh, 
uh, recommended as a PH or PWD in examination earlier. This is something new which I think UPSC has added after the recent controversy but let's not go into that. Then do you want to make available your personal information for accessing job opportunity in terms of DOPT? So if you want to say yes or no. Okay. So let me quickly fill that and then we will go to the next step. All right. So I have filled my personal information. As you can see now it says a tick over there. That means personal information is done. Now I have to go to address information and, and now I have to provide my, uh, my address information. So similarly you have to fill all these information. Okay. So I will quickly do them. And wherever uh, something important is there to tell you, I'll let you know over there. Okay. So let me quickly fill this and then I will show you what to be done next. Okay. So just for an update that to upload your photograph and signature, you have to be very, very careful. I had a tough time uh, like to make the photograph and signature according to their requirement. It's very strict. It's not taking even if the pixel size is different, if the pixel length and width are different. So make sure that you have a photograph and signature according to the uh, the like the information which they have given or the dimensions which they have given. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and fill the documents and the other things required. So I have filled the form. It is time consuming, I would say. And that is because of the recent con controversy which UPSC has faced. Because of that, they are asking more and more information. So yeah, the form filling is really time consuming. But yeah, once you are done with it, you can see that there will be tick in front of all of these. That means you have provided all the information. Now you can go to the dashboard. Your all the information is now filled. Now you can start filling your form. Okay. So this is the first thing which you have to do once you log in. After doing one time registration, you have to fill all the information. And now you can go to latest notification where you will be able to see your form exam, which is active right now. So combined geoscientist exam is active over here. Uh, the last date is 24th of September. You can click if you want to update your OTR, which you don't have to do. You have to click here for part one. Click here for part one. And this says that um, these are just general instructions come down and say yes you have read and understood everything okay once you click it says that you have filled all these information now remember that if you have not filled all these information already in that case they are going to ask you uh, to uh, you know to fill all these things again over here so it says that uh, I have uploaded all this information already my personal information address parental information all these things are already there uh documents upload is there which uh, says the document certificate in support of higher education i have to upload so click here to uh, document upload in otr so that is something which is missing which is not being filled and which is not having a tick over here so i'll quickly do that so that this also is get done and then only i can agree and proceed so let me do this quickly and then i will tell you how to do the next part okay so now you can see that documents upload is already done everything is done I just have to click here that I hereby declare that all the details provided is true and I will say I agree. Okay. So once I say I agree, part one is filled for me. Okay. Now the thing is that part two, part three and part four registration has not been done yet. So now is the time when I have to fill the part two. Now this thing you can see that I have an active link over here to fill part two. So I will click on this and now it will give me an, uh, a form again to fill the part two of the form. Okay. So let's see that. Yeah. So first of all, it will show me all the information which I have already filled. But okay. So here I have to choose the educational qualification. So for that, I will choose MSc in chemistry because I want to fill for chemistry. And the other things, I guess, is already filled. So I don't have to do anything as such. I'll say continue. And then again, it will show me uh, that whether I'm claiming age relaxation or not. So I will say no, I don't want to claim age relaxation. I will say continue. And uh, then it will ask me for whether all these information are correct or not regarding my Aadhaar card and all. And uh, then I have to select that eligible category of service which I am applying for. So whether I am applying for chemist group A or scientist B or for both of them. So I would suggest you to choose this that is for both of them. Okay. In that case, we will be eligible for all the vacancies which are available. I have to now uh, select a center. So I will quickly select a center for this and then I will say continue and 
then yeah so now my part two submission is done i'll scroll down a little bit and here i have to just fill this captcha code so i'll quickly do that um all right so this is how your part two is filled now now it says that click here for part three click on this particular link so now you have to go to part three okay so part three basically again is going to show you all your personal information and other things related to that so i'll quickly say okay and i'll go to the next part you just have to say save and continue okay so now is where you have to choose your preferences for uh, for the exam okay so which exam you are giving first preference so let's say i'm giving uh, first preference to chemistry group a and second preference to scientist b okay and i will say save and continue so now you have already filled these form uh, the other things are probably not required so i will just say save and continue so it says that these are the documents which are required so basically if you if you belong to general category you just have to provide your age certificate and educational certificate no other things depending upon your category if you belong to obc or scst you have to apply or you have to provide the other documents as well okay so for me i'm good i'll say okay save and continue and uh, now the thing says that declaration to be signed by the candidate and you have you can click here and see your daf application just click here and preview all the document uh, the complete form basically if you have previewed select yes and then you can click the captcha so i will quickly do that uh, yeah and i will say go to part three final submission it says that once you agree no changes are permissible i will say okay so now i am done with everything i just have to do two things now i have to pay fees and i have to do the uh, center selection and agreeing to the declaration paying fees is very simple you can click here and you can just pay the fee using sbi any branch of sbi okay so that is one thing which you can do and uh, that's that's one thing which you have to do and the last is you have to select the uh, like you have to select the center and you have to agree the declaration and you are done with the form so i have just filled the complete form for you and i have tried to show you and explain you how you can do this i hope you guys have understood step by step form filling for upsc geoscientist and um, if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section below that's all from my side for this particular video i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.